Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here I hope you're doing all fine so in today's video we are going to do the daily TA but before we begin I have to announce here our new weekly $10 worth of Bitcoin giveaway so I have announced it yesterday already in the live stream over on Twitch so this is now for everyone that didn't watch yesterday's video I have now a new cooperation with Bityard we are going to do two videos a week and on these two videos the first video we're gonna do at the beginning of the week and will be the subscription video for the giveaway and also of course we are going to do a live TA on the Bitcoin price but also on the second video next to the Bitcoin TA we're going to select a winner of the $10 Bitcoin giveaway and therefore in the first video in the subscription video like we did yesterday we have here in the comment section all the comments that you're putting in here with your Bitcoin wallet address like already some people have done here in yesterday's Bityard video and we're gonna select the winner towards the end of the week with the second video and we're going to do this every week so make sure guys to subscribe to the channel here on YouTube even better if you also subscribe over to the Twitch channel channel but the comments that you put here on YouTube will be relevant for the Bitcoin giveaway so if you don't have already commented in yesterday's video here on the Bityard video go now to yesterday's video put your comment and also your Bitcoin address to participate to the Bitcoin giveaway that we will do towards the end of the week most likely on Saturday or Sunday all right so let's start with today's TA now because Bitcoin is still here fighting with our resistance at around $9,200 yesterday we had a little spike here to the upside we came here towards 9250 got rejected so far but you can see that currently the 50 moving average in the one hour here at our support of around $9,100 is holding and I'm expecting here a possible breakout and to reach a target here of 9270 there is also where I'm planning to close my long that I still have opened here since $9,100 so since yesterday I didn't close it here because my target of approximately $9,300 is yet not reached the only problem is that currently we have filled here this little CME gap that we created yesterday here so we came up here and we successfully closed this little future gap that we had so in theory now my target is reached here but I still think there is a high chance that we could go at least once more up here to test this $9,300 level and there we have to see if we are getting rejected or if we are able to build up a support above $9,200 or even better above $9,300 and here in the one hour currently we are right at the 50 level so in theory we should bounce from it also the stochastic is now coming back from oversold condition so here it looks like that we could be in here for a potential move towards 9270 dollars and also here in the bollinger band you can see that currently we are testing here the lower part so the lower middle area here and in case that we could bounce from it in theory the target would be up here towards 9200 ten dollar which i think in that case also we could easily overshoot it towards nine thousand three hundred dollar macd still shifted to the downside so it is possible also that we are going towards the bottom here towards nine thousand one hundred dollar retest and then have a bounce so currently i think it is possible that we test again nine thousand one hundred dollar but if we're gonna break here this support at nine thousand one hundred twenty five we could also easily go even a bit lower than nine thousand dollar and in that case i would target here the previous resistance line from this falling wedge here which now should be acting as a support towards here eight thousand nine hundred dollar and if we go over to the four hour time frame also here you can see that the 20 moving average is currently holding as a support so as long as we are staying above this moving average in theory we could expect at any time a big bounce here and test this possible resistance up here at around 9270 the thing is that currently we have the stochastic overbought here in the four hour so we could cool it off first before we're gonna break out here from this $9,180 resistance the RSI is right at the 50 so we have to see a big bounce from it right now otherwise we could be again shifted to the downside and now let's switch over to the Bollinger Band here in the four hour time frame because here it is still looking quite bullish after touching here the top of the Bollinger Band at 9240 we came 
came down to retest the middle line here at around 9,120 and currently we are seeing a nice bounce which in theory we could see a potential retest of this resistance up here. Only if we would start to trade below $9,000 I think we could be in here for a possible drop towards $8,900 but currently here based on the Bollinger Band it is still looking quite bullish and we should expect here a possible test here of 9240 again. MACD is still shifted to the upside so here in theory also we are on the way towards our target. So let's see if we can first reach our $9,300 before we see a potential bigger dump. And if we open up the daily time frame, here you can see where my main target is of a potential bounce here to the upside. So it would be slight above this rising wedge that we are in currently, this little one, and it's right here at the 20 daily moving average at $9,300. So this is my main target to reach and close all my long position because I still think that we could in theory having now the 20 daily moving average acting as a resistance. It's not yet confirmed, we still have to go up there, but at least here is where I would close my long or at least put a very tight stop loss because here I think we could be getting in big troubles here and possibly have another leg down. Only if we are able to close daily candles again above $9,300 my sentiment would change back into bullish but currently I think we could be in here for a bigger dump towards at least towards here the 200 daily moving average at $8,300. We have the RSI currently also below the 50 level. Stochastic is coming from oversold condition now shifted to the upside which is good but since we are trading currently below the 50 level in the RSI I think it is very likely that we could see here a bigger leg down. But let's also have a look in the Bollinger Band in the daily time frame because here it doesn't look so good. We are still trading here in the lower part and we still didn't test here the midline between 9270 up to 9330 so I still think that most likely if we are having a little breather here to the upside this could be a very heavy resistance zone and also make this shifted to the downside so you see here in the bigger time frames like the daily it is still not looking too good we have to start to build up support again above $9,300 otherwise the bulls are too weak to break through here and only if we have a look on the weekly time frame here it is looking Looking more bullish than the daily because here we are still trading above the 20 weekly moving average which now is coming to where the bottom is of this falling wedge that we were in in the last couple of weeks and it's right here at $8,650. So I am expecting here to have some first support at this price level before we could continue to crash lower but as long as we are closing weekly candles above this moving average we are still on our way to the upside and we could expect at any time Time, a bigger leg up here towards 10,000 and also potentially break it. We also are right at the 50 in the RSI so also here we are still trading on the bullish side so in theory we could easily have a big bounce to the upside here and also break this 10,000 resistance that is above of us. Stochastic is still overbought but you see that currently we are shifted a bit to the downside and if we can cool off here the stochastic and keep up here with the 20 weekly moving average and also with the 50 level in the RSI I think then we would have a perfect setup for a big leg up and a possible breakout from this main resistance that we have in front of us. And now let's open up also the Bollinger Band here in the weekly because here you can see that we came right here at the first middle line here towards $9,270. So in theory right now we could easily also drop towards the next middle line here of $8,200 where also the 200 daily moving average is lining up. But in case that we can start to build up again support here in the upper area, the target could be up here at $10,900 which I think is very likely to be reached. So a retest of 10k is possible but only if we are able to build up support again above $9,300. As long as we're trading below the target here is definitely to the downside towards $8,200 and that's why I'm still expecting a bigger correction to the downside in Bitcoin, in overall all the crypto space and also in the stock market. So you should be prepared also for a possible dump but also be prepared in case that we are not going to see such a bigger dump or maybe it's going to be so short-lived that immediately the price is coming back up again. 
But at the other hand, if my theory that we could see here a possible right shoulder here from this inverse head and shoulders pattern here in the weekly that we possibly gonna create, then we could be in this possible dump here for a few weeks or months before we're gonna see another relief rally to the upside and then break the resistance that is coming down here at approximately $10,000. And remember, if you want to trade the next moves with a long or with a short, if we're going down, you have to short. If we're going up, you have to long. And this you can do over on Bybit and BitYard, for example. So if you need still an account on those exchanges, you find all the links that you need down below here in the video description, because with my links, you can get some sign up bonus. So currently on Bybit, we have $90 on uh, BitYard. You can get bonuses based on your trading volume. Femex here. Here you can get $72 so on all of these exchanges of course you have to put some deposits or do some trades to get the full bonuses but definitely go and take them as long as they are here because you never know how long these promotions are going to last and make sure also to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free everyone is a welcome and I'm doing the live streams over on twitch so make sure also to join the twitch channel so thank you very much for watching guys, leave a like if you like the content, subscribe to the channel, we do daily TA videos and also you can participate to the big Bitcoin giveaway that we do with every 500 subscribers and now also with this new weekly Bitcoin giveaway that we do on our BitYard sponsored videos. So thank you very much my friends and we see us all in the next one. Bye!